Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about we should not be ashamed of our height or heights. Basically the reason why I did this video is because I saw a guy and I was in I was in my local shop where I help out and I saw this guy and he was basically the table that I that I work at an IT sh an IT shop he's I'm like five foot nine my height and he is he, he, the table is like up to my above my stomach I think it's about it's about above my stomach I would say about there about above my stomach and um so my stomach is about there basically where my hand is and he and he I mean he was like let's put it this way I think he was like probably about two or three feet shorter than my friend or two or three feet shorter than me that's about from here to about here maybe and he was like his his shoulder and his and his chin like is is just about the same height as the as the as the table because you know nowadays with security you you have to have a higher higher shelf because of people jumping over and stealing money and stuff like that so when I saw this guy it was a it was a guy the guy had beard but he was short you know he was very very short he was a look, he looked like a foreign guy like an Asian maybe probably not but basically when I saw that when I saw his height and I thought you know I'm wondering I'm wondering it's has it ever occurred to him if he's ever been ashamed of his height. So I just thought I'd do this video just to encourage people of all heights, whether you're whether you're micros microscopic or taller than a tree or you know, you just you're not you're not just you're not happy with your height, you know. Th there is a purpose for everybody's height, you know, with even if it's a mistake, your height or or if you think it's a Think, or, or if you think it's a mistake, with every mistake there's a divine purpose for it. So don't underestimate your height. Don't think that you know because I'm a height, because I'm this height, you know, the world has ended for me. You know, there, there's nothing I can do with my life. You know, it's no, it's no point to live. No point in living. No point in going on with things when I'm this kind of height. There's no point in having any motivation to do anything work or anything as individuals we have to do our best to rise above our problems our sufferings our 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 mistakes or anybody else's mistake or if anybody's harmed us we have to rise above it do our best to rise above it and and, and try our best to forgive because you feel so much freer when you when you forgive and you don't have it reminding you because when you when you forgive you you don't just release yourself you release the other person and and in in, in the end it's just it's only harming you only the the person that has hurt you the person that has hurt you or whoever you think that was at fault with that the the the, the person that you think that that is at fault they will they won't even think about it they will move on with their life and the reason why I say that is because basically I've heard in the news like this year that with this with this mosquito disease that has shrunk shrunk kids shrunk kids like giving giving kids you know a shorter height May, maybe a shorter height but it wasn't really that it was just basically it wasn't just that it was also in Africa that I heard that that's where it came from basically because because in Africa because of because of poor nourishment poor nourishment and uh, not good no nourishment of foods kids are kids are kids can't really grow tall and because of that they 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 be they becoming they are becoming disabled not being able to move properly and some are, and some are, uh 
uh, shorter than the average person or the average child or even the sh or even the, or even the average adult so you know even although that's all that's all I was saying if you can if you can do your best to forgive because you're releasing a person and you're releasing yourself so no don't don't underestimate your height don't underestimate it because there is a divine purpose for it don't think that you know because of my height I can't do anything and because because of my height I haven't got no no kind of calling on my life no special calling you know the mere fact that you're still alive there is a there's still a purpose for your life there is something for you to grab hold of you have to just search search your you know search 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 your 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 true identity through Jesus if you if you think I'm upsetting you with that message with with me saying you know search Jesus search Jesus try and find your answer in God you know if you've tried everything else and you and you can't find any other hope then you can't find any other hope no other no other answer then the only thing I can say is try Jesus try God because you never regret it as long as as long as you look forward and not look back because you can you can talk yourself out of Christianity if you if you want to get out of it and you can talk yourself into staying into Christianity if you if you see God regularly you know there's no middle ground you can't you can't be in between the Bible talks about you know if, if you know, the Bible talks about you're lukewarm you're neither hot nor cold and because you're lukewarm I will spit you out of my mouth write those words in the, in the Bible in, write those words in, on, the, on the search engine and you'll find it in the Bible so, because I'm not making it up in fact so this scripture neither hot nor cold it's in the New King James Version NKJV in Revelations 3 verse 15 to 17 it says V15 I know your works that you are neither hot nor sorry that you are neither cold nor hot I could wish you were cold or hot V16 so then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will I will vomit you out of my mouth V17 because you say I am rich have become wealthy and have need of nothing and and do not know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked so yeah I don't know what I was saying about that but um, I think I'll probably explain myself if I haven't been reminded but yeah so you know if you have any other questions to uh, ask me please let me know and if you like what you see please subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from so yeah so that's it really for now so uh, yeah I better wrap it up there so God bless take care peace be with you bye for now